Welcome, we're here again at the Brooklyn Gallery for another episode of Art in Mind called The Journey. Right, let's go inside and have a look at the show. So, Clover, yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself and about your art. Um, I, I study uh, fashion illustration at London College of Fashion. Um, I'm in the second year at the moment. Very nice, right. What brings you to the Brooklyn Gallery? Well, um, this area is really nice and really young and hip, and I think that my illustrations can reflect that really vintage, kind of retro feel. And I think it's this gallery is in such a good situation, in such a, in a good location. <laughs> um, so that's why I'm here. Definitely, I can definitely see that. Roberto, tell us a little about yourself and about your art. Yeah, basically, you know, I come from Italy yeah. and I've been living in London the last uh, six years. And I started basically, my background starts as a guitarist in Italy for 10 years. And uh, when I came here, basically inspired from uh, all the art that was around London and uh, that I could see around myself, and especially in the area of Brick Lane, I said, why not start in using my talent? for something like this, that is on a different medium. So instead of, of using my guitar, I said, well, let's not paint something. But unfortunately, I'm horrible in painting. Uh, so I say, these are lovely though. These are lovely. Love the colors, love the mixture. Thank you very much. But as you can see, I cannot even draw a circle by myself. So this is all digital. Uh, yeah, what inspires you though? Well, music is what inspires all my, all my creativity and this series in particular. These series are made by, inspired by all these, in particular these songs uh, that are kind of like, half of them are Italian, half of them are American. That's what inspires me in my everyday life and I said, why don't you use these models that I know from around the world. Definitely, that sounds great, honestly. Tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your work. Well, first it's not work. I mean, you know, it's it's like a bottle of wine, yeah, left in a cellar 40 years ago, 50 years ago, unknown, when, you know, parentage, unknown vineyard, and you open it. And lo and behold, it, it's good wine. <laughs> because I started painting just four years ago. And it was to fill a gap in my life because my family had come here. I was in Dubai. Uh, so yeah, um, tell me about what inspires you when you paint. What inspires everybody? These are conversations. I mean, if you look at, if you look at the work, yeah? It's, I'm not looking at anything and painting it. It's, uh, okay. it's, it's something I've thought about, or felt, or remembered, or understood. Definitely. What brings you to the Brick Lane Gallery then? Well, the Brick Lane Gallery saw my work on an online site, uh, maybe a year and a half ago. And they told me about the facilities that you all have here and it sounded interesting. So I said okay, when I get a chance to get enough works to London because I don't paint here, I come on holiday, stay with my family, go back. Yuri, tell me a little bit about yourself and a bit about your work. Okay, I'm a student at Inverness College and I'm continuing next year to Aberdeen Gray School of Art. And my work, as you can see, is quite political. So my inspirations are just political. Just political message, nothing else. Smashing stuff. Right, what inspired you to do these? Apart from obviously political subject matters. <laughs> uh, I just like to I like to change things and uh, I actually I'm inspired by Banksy and his political messages because as you can see like what he does it's art for people and it's clear message 
Definitely. Right, what brings you to the Brickling Gallery? Uh, it's actually Brickling Gallery found me, and because I heard about it before, I found uh, the website, and I thought, yeah, that's a good place to exhibit.